Borough engineer tells me the borough loses between 40 and 50 percent of the water it produces every month and facing that problem could take help from every level of government. Water is one of those things that we just can't go without. Perry County Planning Coordinator Jason Finnerty is well aware of Duncannon's water issues. It needs to be uh, resolved. Borough engineer Greg Rogalski says Duncannon loses close to half the water it produces because of leaks in the system. There are projects underway to address that. Listen to the pipes to see if they can detect where water is leaking from and fixing those leaks. But Duncannon is dealing with a twofold problem, a very old system and a taxpayer base too small to pay for upgrades. Some of it approaches 100 years old, uh, so we certainly have a lot of infrastructure that's old and a relatively small population uh, to be able to fund that infrastructure replacement. So Don Cannon will likely need to rely on state grants. Finnerty says Perry County can help with that, both with writing the applications and getting Don Cannon's projects into the county's comprehensive plan. This is uh, just basically kind of an overriding uh, uh, project sheet that's been submitted uh, for water. Uh, improvements in Duncannon Borough. It makes it so much easier when we have a project that's included in the plan and to be able to offer up uh, support for that. Last month, Senator Bob Casey helped get more than $8 million in federal funds to another Perry County community, Loysville, to upgrade their water and sewer system. Perry County Commissioner Brenda Watson tells me that's also an avenue Duncannon could pursue. In the newsroom, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News.